Hi, I welcome you all to the session on creating personal sub area. In the previous sessions, we have uh, created company code and uh, personal areas as part of enterprise structures. In this uh, sessions, we are going to create this personal sub area and assigning the this sub area to company that uh, pers personal area. So let us visit this. We will start from the beginning. Okay, we can write here SPRO. This SPRO. Uh, then we can go for SAP implementation, a, a SAP reference guide, implementing guide. Then we can go for uh, enterprise structures. Then we can go for this uh, uh, definitions. Then the, these are the SAP module. Okay. Under this, we can visit this uh, HCM. That is called that that is called human resource management or human capital management. Here you can find that personal sub areas. Okay. Then we can visit this company sub area. Actually, there are some of the existing departments are there in the sessions. What we'll do? We'll add some of the more department to this. So, we will start with Mumbai locations MU99. Okay. So, we can click on here. So, we have found that there are three departments already existing here. Okay, One is finance department, then uh, human resource department, then marketing department. These are the codes for this. So, we can make simple new entry. For Mumbai, what we will do? We will create another like we can go for like uh, uh, R&D, we can go for R&D, okay. R&D means research and development, research and development, we can go for this, okay. So, we can save it, we can save it, so we can continue with this, okay. So, then we can go for another like uh, we can visit like uh, Mumbai. Now we have got four departments in Mumbai. Then we can go back. Once again, we can create. Okay. For then for Delhi locations, we can go for Delhi locations. DL99. Okay. So in Delhi locations, there is only one department. Here we can add one by doing new entries. So, like HR, HR 99, we can add here, here we can write human resource, okay, human resource we can add, then if we want, we can go for like, suppose we have a sales department, take for example, we can go for SL, SL 99, sales, we can write sales, like in Delhi, we have created now, uh, like two de more department we have added. Okay. We can go for savings. Okay. So, we can save it. Then for Bangalore also, we can go for like one more we can go for. We can make new entry like BL, PL, sorry, ETC, personal, uh, we can go for. Uh, Bangalore locations, we can go for this, okay. Bangalore locations, we can go for this. There are two departments, we can add another, like we can go for like R&D, R&D. Sorry, R, R D nine nine research and development research and development department we can add. Okay. So then we can go for like we can go for we had another uh, locations that is called personal area that like uh, Hyderabad. We can go for this. 
like Hyderabad code was H Y nine nine. Okay, then we can go for this. Let us see. Hyderabad, there is no department. We can make a new entry. Like we, if you want to add, we can go for a marketing department. M K nine M K nine nine marketing. So then we can also add like uh, manufacturing. Suppose take for example manufacturing. We have one manufacturing. So manufacturing we can write like manufacturing. Okay, this is how actually sub areas are created and assigned to the personal areas. Okay, so we have created some of the personal sub areas and we have also assigned to the personal. This is how actually personal areas are being created and assigned to the personal areas. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for the session.